hey 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 welcome back to my channel today i'm bringing to you the chili pepper oil this oil comes in very very handy i like to put it on my pizza i like to put it on my beef stick i like to put it in my stews so basically we are going to infuse an oil with hot chili pepper without wasting time let's just get started so first of all i have my hot chili pepper i got this from the supermarket they are very very affordable especially during the summer seasons during the winter seasons you do not find them so that is why i like to buy a lot during the summer and store them for the winter now i'll just wash it up very very well afterwards i'll pat them dry With the help of a knife, I will cut each one into two pieces. Now you are going to be needing some oil. I love to use olive oil. If you don't have olive oil, you can use any oil of your choice. And you are going to need this bottle. This bottle I got from the supermarket is not so expensive. It's been especially made for these types of oil. This releases a little bit of oil at a time so you don't end up pouring too much oil into your food. It's got a very narrow top. Next, I'll just put my chili pepper into my bottle. Now, I'll come in with my olive oil. I'll fill up this bottle with the olive oil. I'll cover it up and give it a little shake. Now we are going to leave this alone in a safe and cool place for about a month. The longer you leave it, the hotter it becomes. So it's been after a month and this is what we have here. As you can see, the color of the oil has changed a little bit. Now a teaspoon of this oil is so so hot and is enough to cook a pot of stew. I love to put this on my beef steak or on my pizza or when I'm eating with people who do not like so much chili pepper, I like to, you know, put this in my sauce or in my stew. Also, if you're cooking your dishes and you don't want to go through the hassle of cutting up your chili pepper or blending it up, this is ready made, it's ready to go and you just put it in whatever dish you're making and you're good to go. So I hope this did help you and I hope you are going to give this a try. If you do, let me know how it comes out for you. If you've not subscribed, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to share this with family and friends. And don't forget to leave me that big fat thumbs up. Until next time, I am going to see you again with another nice and interesting one. Bye bye.